when it comes to sports or professional wrestling or stuff that we see on TV, we can root for the underdog because the underdog is still part of our culture. Islam is not professional wrestling. Islam is not a sports team. Islam is not a clown balloon. Islam, if it is looked at as being more important to someone than whether they're American, then it is something that is anti-American. As I said earlier, we live in a Christian country. This is a Christian nation. The majority of people are Christian, and most of our culture is based on it. It's, it's in our language all the time. We constantly have references to uh, Christianity in our language, constantly. When we attack other countries in the Middle East, we are essentially spreading Christian consumerist capitalism at the head of a barrel. For the other countries that we do this to, we are even more the antithesis of their culture than when Muslims from other countries or Muslims who put Islam above this country are to us. When we compare the numbers, we've certainly killed a lot more Muslims than Muslims have killed us. Our immigration system is messed up. There are people who really do want to become a part of our culture who can't seem to get citizenship here. And yet tons of people who don't want a damn thing to do with being a part of our culture and adopting our way of life end up coming here, getting the benefits of being here, and then some of them turn around and do things like this shooting. How does that work? Our immigration system needs to be reformed. Massively. Some of our system is, it's a matter of how much money you have. Well, if you have a whole shit ton of money, well, come on in, come on in. Then there's all the people who come here illegally. Don't call someone illegal. Shut up. Serious. Don't start going on about the wording of that. Nobody's illegal. Y yes, they are. If they've come into the country without doing the things that you're supposed to do to come into the country, then you're here illegally. But we shouldn't have, we really shouldn't have borders. Yes, let's all sit together and hold hands and sing Kumbaya. No. Our immigration policies are the primary problem. It needs to be revamped. We need to change what the prerequisites are to come into the country. We need to change the standards for people coming into this country. If you cannot pledge allegiance to this country, and at least verbally say, yes, I want to make the way of life here in the United States my way of life. You know, if people aren't willing to do that, you turn them away. You turn them away, you send them back, you deport them. Period. End of story. If you're not willing to put being an American above your religion or your nationality or whatever, if you're not willing to put being American over all of those other things, bye bye catch you later, get the hell out of here. And if people who were born here are later shown to be those who put their religion or their nationality or something else way above being American, well, we should give them a free ticket to a country that would match what they want more. And yes, that would mean that we would be paying for a lot of tickets. 
a lot of flights, which I think is a small price to pay for what we would get out of it. If you really don't want to be here and you put some sort of ideology, a religion, above being American, it's time for you to leave. Here, have a free ticket. Yes, it's tribalistic. We are tribalistic. Everyone is tribalistic. Humans are tribalistic. And as long as we can reduce the negative effects of that, great. Turning someone away because they don't want to be a part of the tribe of the United States is not being mean. It's saying, yeah, we, we can't have multiple tribes that are conflicting in the same space. Now, to the idiots out there, and I'm going to call you idiots, who think that, well, I guess I'm distorted, aren't I? Oh, well. Who think that putting restrictions on guns or banning guns has any, any, I mean any chance of stopping what happened last night. You are a fucking idiot. And you are politicizing the deaths of so many people to push your agenda. We want to stop it. Well, this isn't going to stop it. The things that would stop this, you don't want to look at. The kind of things that would stop this would be immigration reform. Not putting restrictions on guns. Not even if we completely banned guns, would this stop this sort of thing? Yes, let's de-arm everyone but the ones that are going to commit crimes. Good job there. Yeah, that's really going to help. Oh, but but look, this worked in Europe, and this worked in this country, and that country. Those aren't this country. They're different tribes. They don't do things the same way as we do here. Oh, but we have to try. Look, try that on a separate level. When they're, you know, why isn't this sort of thing said when there's a news story about some kid who found their parents gun and shot someone that's not when we hear the all this stuff oh we need to gun regulations gun you don't hear it at that time that's not when you hear it you hear it when there's a massacre you hear it when there's a terrorist act that's idiotic you need to push that kind of agenda when there is something that would be affected by putting gun regulations into place that's when you need to say this stuff. Not when something happens that banning guns wouldn't do a goddamn thing to change. Any of you pushing forth this stuff, when there is a massacre like this, you are using these people's deaths to shove forth an agenda that wouldn't stop this stuff from happening. And you want to have some sort of moral high ground. Virtue signaling anyone? <laughs>